the lengths of the layers of the material change okay now if you move ahead if you move ahead and look at this these diagrams over here in this we will discuss about a little bit about theory of simple bending Now before we discuss about the theory of simple bending, let us come down assumptions. To derive the theory of simple bending. Th so some assumption in this is that the material is homogeneous and isotropic. Now what does homogeneous mean? That is a constant configuration or composition throughout an isotropic means that there is no directional dependence of the properties of the material. Okay, and the Young's modulus or we are denoting it with the help of E. So Young's modulus in compression is equal to Young's modulus in tension. So this is these two are the uh, assumptions that we need to take more importantly there are many other assumptions you can go through those assumptions in the uh, notes that we have provided now looking at the diagram above okay now this is this is the section of a beam okay and this section of a beam is being applied by or is being applied upon by a bending moment m okay and let us say this is the neutral axis this is the neutral axis this is the cross section view this is the cross sectional view of the beam and this is the neutral axis and this is the topmost layer and this is the bottommost layer let us say that the distance between and then we are you know uh, considering an intermediate layer this is the intermediate layer and the uh, distance between the neutral axis and the intermediate layer is y okay now what happens when it bends let us now label these as a b c and d now when it bends it becomes a dash b dash c dash and d dash but the neutral says it remains of the same length okay suppose it bends and after bending it becomes a little bit circular in shape now this circular arc will have a center let us say the center is at o and at o it is subject subtending an angle theta okay so clearly as per our previous uh, slide this layer is under compression okay and this layer is under tension okay now let us say that mm, let us again take this layer this layer is an intermediate layer and at a distance y now let us say that the radius of this arc from the center to the neutral axis is capital R and this is y isn't it? So this is y. So R is the radius of curvature till the neutral axis okay theta is the angle subtended by the beam at the center O okay and let us say due to all these bending which is taking place sigma b is the bending stress that you know is produced or is developed in the material of the beam now you need to remember this bending equation that comes into picture that is sigma b upon y is equal to m upon i is equal to e upon r now sigma b as we told is the bending stress that is being developed in the beam material uh, due to the bending moment 
why now what is why see this is the neutral axis that we talked about okay so if you take any layer in between the topmost and the bottommost layer the distance of any layer from the neutral axis is y okay so i i would write it down here that this is the distance of a layer from neutral axis okay m is the bending being applied i is the moment of inertia it is the moment of inertia of the cross section of the beam so whatever cross section you have it can be a, a rectangular cross section it can be a triangular cross section or whatever it is depending upon the cross section you will have the moment of inertia e we all know is the young's modulus and r is the radius of curvature that we just talked about yes okay so when you combine all these uh, this is the combination of all these terms is known as bending equation okay now if we talk about a little bit about the conventions of bending if you have let us say a beam which is initially bent okay so when you apply bending moment onto the onto this beam in this way yes but obviously it will bend this way it will bend like this so this kind of bending is called sagging so the beam sags and this kind of bend this kind of bending moment is always taken to be positive but if you have a pinchly straight and now you apply a bending moment in this direction so this would bend like this okay so this kind of bending is called hogging and hogging is a negative bending moment or negative bending which is you know taking place now moving ahead let us now 